guys, welcome back to Charmin's Kitchen. A very, very pleasant good evening to all my viewers and subscribers. Hope you guys are enjoying your Saturday. Today I want to bring a very simple dish to you guys and this is no other but spinach or bhaji as we, we say in Guyana. And this is a vegetarian dish today because I had requests for this dish and for all my veg vegetarian viewers, this dish is one that you will like. It's so simple and it's so packed with nutrients. And these are spinach from my own garden, so I'm so excited to share this recipe with you guys. So guys, today I'm, I'm gonna be making some spinach and some dal, and we're picking our uh, Malabar spinach or poi bhaji. Uh, there are so many in um, plants in and out all over, like we have some in here. Look at this squash, guys. And then we have some more in here, like we have them all over. Look at these guys. I have some more right here. So we're just picking the big leaves and then we're letting it to grow more and more. And this one is the running one. And I have um, over here is the chow rai. So today I'm going to mix three different spinach. This one is the chow rai. And I even have some pak choy here. And over on this side here, I have the Swiss chard, and I love to mix it with Swiss chard. Swiss chard is so um, tasty. And right in here, I have a mint plant, and I can't, I love it, it's so fresh. And when you're making some kind of um, juice or drink, you just pick a couple leaves and break it up inside, it's so flavorful. And all my pepper plant is loaded with pepper. I see some on the other side is getting ripe right now. I'm trying to see if I can get a picture of this one in here. There is one right there. And then in here have, like there's a lot more in the bottom of the plant. Over here there's more chow rai. My cucumber plant is dried up. There's more spinach here to pick as well. Some of them we put in plant, plant um, pots and these pepper plant is full with load with flowers i hope i get them if not we're gonna take these inside the house there's another one here with some and then this guy here is full with pepper and look at these ones are ripening up i'm so excited look at these ones that are ripening up this tree is loaded with with pepper and my tomatoes they are when it reached this stage here I have to pick them this sometime this is too ripe to left on the tree because something is eating my tomatoes as soon as they get yellow something is eating them and I'm actually sharing the garden with the, whatever it is the animal because they can plant and they can go to the store so when they eat one and two in between and my kids say, mom, what are we gonna do? I say, you know what, they, they can't plant, let's share with them. So I'm sharing. What the, the whatever is eating the plant doing to the tomato, and it's really, really not ripe yet, but they start eating as soon as it turn a little bit yellowish. So I start picking them early. Look how much spinach we have in here already. But I just wanna show the squash plant. And there is one more in here. I have to start picking them out now. And then look at this guy. These two guys here, how big and long they are. That's how big this squash is. And I have my Corilla or bitter melon. Uh, these ones are gonna be ready soon. And I'm just excited, but I'm so sad that summer is soon coming to an end. This is the um, Chow Rai Baji and my rosemary i'm gonna take this rosemary plant inside because i love rosemary with roasted meat any kind of lamb chicken dish whatever and i have another rosemary over here and I, my time is right here unfortunately i won't be able to take the time inside because it's in on the ground but i'll pick them and try to dry some and this is my celery and this one is going nice most, some things are starting to wither and dry up because they can't stand the cold weather at night and the heat in the day. So 
it's we're go just going to have to um, take care of what we have for now. And some of these plants can last. Um, they can stand up to the cold weather a little, but not all of them. So hope you guys like this garden, guys. Hope you guys like the view of the garden today. I just enjoy being here to come out early in the morning, look around, see which tomato I can pick and just enjoy looking at the plants. So when winter comes, I'm going to be looking into the backyard full with white snow, which is, is beautiful, but sad that we can't come out and, um, and do much. So here are my spinach guys, the Swiss chard. Malabar or Poibaji and the Chow Rai. I'm, I'm mixing them together. I love when they're mixed together. They have, they, you get a nice flavor out of them. My husband helped me to cut it up. Night, we wash them and it's nicely cut up. And these are the ingredients I'm gonna add to it. I have four cloves of garlic. I have one onion. I have half of a hot pepper. And I have four um, headless green onion. I'm gonna cut these up and then I'm gonna cook the spinach. It doesn't take long. As soon as it steam up a little, that's it. And we're gonna eat this with some dal. So today is another vegetarian dish. And this is one of my favorite dal and rice and spinach or bhaji, we call them. And you just wanna sit with your dal and rice and your fingers and eat and enjoy. So in this pan, I have about one teaspoon of oil. I'm gonna add all my ingredients and I have my garlic, green onion, regular onion, and my hot pepper. Everything is going in at the same time. And what I love about spinach, it's so easy to cook. Just a few ingredients and it's packed with nutrients. Real packed with nutrients. Sometimes I cook certain spinach with a little bit of coconut milk, but this one I'm not going to cook with any um, coconut milk. I'm just going to fry up the seasoning a little, like a minute or so, so everything can infuse in here in the oil. And then I'm going to add my spinach, and this is a mixture of um, Swiss chard, poi bhaji, or Malabar spinach and we have some um, chow rai bhaji. So I'm gonna add it now into here. And guys, this looks like a lot, but it's gonna wilt down and it's gonna become half of the amount when I'm done cooking it. So once I add salt and I cover this pot, this is gonna go right down and lose its natural water and turn to half the amount. But my house we love spinach and this is the, the the best part of it is that i picked all of it from my own garden which is organic and no fertilizer so i'm very very happy about that and i'm gonna add a teaspoon of salt now and right on the top like that and I will taste this after. I'm going to give it a little stir. I can't turn it too much because some of it is going to come right out. But I'm going to cover this for two minutes and then come back and I'll show you how it's going to reduce a little. So let me cover this, leave it for two minutes and we'll come back and look at it. So let's check that. It's wow. Look at that. It's that two minute time. And I can already see that it's wilting down and it's turning to less, way less than what we put in. But it starts smelling so good. And I don't like to cook spinach too much. I like to still have some of the freshness in the spinach. So I'm just going to give this a few minutes, maybe two to four minutes more. And then I will take it off and it will be ready. But this is so looking so good and so delicious and it smells great so let's check this see how it's doing and it is cooking up nicely it reduced a lot so see that big amount that i put in into the pot it's not that much it always reduces so we don't like to cook it out too much to cook out all the nutrients 
So I'm gonna leave the pot open and let a little bit of this water um, cook out and then I will turn it off and it's gonna be ready for the taste test and I'm very excited to do so. So here is my spinach, nicely done. It's such a simple dish, but yet packed with amazing nutrients for our body. So here is my spinach and I have some achar here when I am eating spinach. If I'm not eating it with roti, I like to make dal, dal and rice and spinach. And I'm just gonna dig in and let you guys know how it tastes. And this is the spinach from my garden for all my vegetarian friends. This is an absolute dish for you guys. And I just wanna say, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. You only have to subscribe to one video. I'm gonna dip in some of this mango achar. And please remember to check out the One Guyana Food Festival cookbook when it's out. There's gonna be a lot of interested Caribbean, um, Guyanese cooking in there. And it's a very nice cookbook to give anyone who's interested uh, in those kind of cooking. So guys, this big mouthful here, it's for you guys. So cheers to all my viewers and subscribers. Mm. Right? So good with that achar. Um, spinach with dal always goes so well together. This is such an absolute beautiful dish. I'm not missing any meat right now because spinach and dal go so well. And if you have some achar, guys, you will enjoy this dish. So guys, until then, I'm gonna be enjoying my lunch today with my dal and rice and spinach. Catch you guys for my next video. You guys stay blessed. Bye for now.